to come to the Round Square Conference because I had never been to Africa before and I just wanted to, you know, see what Kenya was like and to meet other people from all around the world. This is my first time in a Round Square Conference and I'm expecting this to be one of my of the best experiences in my life. I expect it to be quite uh, an inclusive um, kind of five, uh, six days um, of kind of speaking uh, Barraza groups um, and also kind of learning a lot of new stuff from different people with different experiences to, to me and uh, my group from the school. Uh, signed up for the Round Square Conference because I really wanted to learn more about the cultures outside of my community and be able to first-hand handedly experience it. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for the conference because people from all over the world and like I can make connections that could help me later in life. I think that the conference is going to be extremely um, eye-opening and informative and I'm very excited to learn about uh, the future for the new Africa. When it's got the all over the border, take it, take it, I like you. From the minute we came, we had such a nice welcome where um, people were singing and dancing and it was very unique to see the traditional dance from over here. And we even saw the mascot and we took pictures of him, so that was also really fun. The reception and everything was very efficient and there was a really nice um, traditional performance outside. Um, and then all the people have been great and very helpful. We went on the field where we did a bunch of activities and we also got to sing and dance to some Indian songs and Bollywood songs and seeing everyone from different countries singing and dancing along was really fun. My experience so far has been great. Got to ride the camel which was very cool. I met different people from different parts of the world and that was like a highlight for me today. to Nairobi, and of course to Brookhouse Schools.
from Guyama by a story of the hummingbird. Hey. Hey. The story of the hummingbird is about this huge forest being consumed by a fire. All the animals in the forest come out and they are transfixed as they watch the forest burn. And they feel very overwhelmed, very powerless. Except this little hummingbird who says, I'm going to do something about the fire. So it flies to the nearest stream, takes a drop of water, you put it on the fire, and goes up and down, up and down, as fast as it can. We should always be like the hummingbird. Significant, but I certainly don't want to be like the animals watching as the planet goes down the drain. I will be a hummingbird, I will do the best I can. <laughs> We have nothing like this in Australia, so I'm really hoping to see a whole range of animals. There's been so many highlights of this conference, and this is one of my highlights. I love animals, I love nature, and the fact that there's a, a, a national park and a wildlife park within the capital city is unique and incredible. If we're going to prepare students for the real world, instead of just teaching them maths and English and biology, uh, we need to teach them how the world works and how to see the world in a unique way. And I think Round Square underpins what a school does in that regard. And so it allows schools to give their students experiences and to create students that are better prepared for the future. We have a service day which the students really enjoyed. They went to various schools where they mingled with the kids in the schools and they actually were put to work. And a lot of them said that that was very satisfying for them, actually helping the community. And that gives them a sense of, you know, self-worth and self-awareness that they actually can make an impact in, in the community, in their society. This experience has been amazing. Um, I think my favorite part has been meeting new people, 
and interacting with the locals because everyone's just so generous and so welcoming. Yeah.